there on the inside breaking. Let's go. We got him. Ten seconds later. We he nudges me from the back. I can't believe this because they just sound incredible. And ooh, no! Be mindful. Don't turn the car around. No! No! What is happening? What is happening? In this video, we're driving the most legendary BF1 car ever! Well, I didn't really expect him to be there anymore. And of course, I'm speaking about the Ferrari F. 2004. This beast of a car had an actually aspirated Ferrari V10 engine that was rear mounted. This legendary engine produced 865 horsepower at over 18,300 RPM and it sounded simply incredible. <laughs> power is going to the rear wheels using a 7 speed sequential paddle shift gearbox with a limited slip differential. It only weighed 604 kilograms so it has more horsepower than kilos. It does 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in just 2.3 seconds and don't forget this was 17 years ago. This car was driven by the legendary Michael Schumacher and Rubens Barrichello and it helped Schumacher win his 7th consecutive world title. In this video, I'm gonna go in a set of Corsa and race this beast on the circuit du Gilles Villeneuve from Canada. There were many, many incidents, so please watch till the end to see them all. Really, really quick, I wanna remind you to subscribe to the channel by pressing the red subscribe button below and to also like the video. If you're already down there, please also leave a comment because it helps YouTube recommend these videos to other new viewers. Thanks a lot and I really, really appreciate it. Enough of the chit chat, let's see how fast was the Ferrari F2004. Okay, we're about to start the race, but first we have to put our magic gloves, our lucky gloves, so we can possibly win the race, because we're starting 13th out of 20 drivers, that have the difficulty quite up. By the way, I'm playing with no traction control and no ABS, so truly the pure car, how they would drive it in real life. Okay, we put the clutch in, we rip up the engine, and we just wait, the six lights are on, and we're off for the Canadian Grand Prix with the Ferrari F2004. Try the inside here in the fourth turn. Careful on the brakes to not smash into anyone. Careful on the throttle as well. If I press uh, too fast, I go off. On the outside, go a bit on the grass and go wide, go wide. We go wide on the... On the, on the I don't even know what that is. In front, I think we lose a couple of positions, but no worries. We keep going. Careful on the brakes to not lock up the wheels. And uh, behind the Toyota here, take the outside. One, two, let's see if we have the slipstream. Brake here for this fast double corner. We had another Ferrari, take the slipstream and pass him on the inside. Now brake fast into first gear for the hairpin. Behind this guy, the slipstream, we take it. That was a sour Red Bull. That was Red Bull's team before Red Bull had their own team. On the inside of the brakes. We lock them up a little, we don't go for it, I don't commit. A little bit of a uh, wheel nudge right there on the end of the outside, that was really really nice. And break fast, oh we go wide, we go wide. No, this is not good, this is not good. We downshift one gear. Up into fifth. Down couple of gears. A little bit better of an exit right here. We nearly lose the car right there on the inside braking. Let's go, we got him. We he nudges me from the back. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. We have to find reverse. What did he do? What did he do? What did he do? No! What did that car do? I cannot believe this. 
Oh, we're so unlucky. We are so unlucky. He crashed in my back. It wasn't my fault at all. And he made me lose so many positions. It was really hard to find reverse right there. But we get the, we get some uh, more positions back on the inside here. Breaking for the hairpin. Full lock right there. Nearly touched the barrier. Up into fourth. Fifth. Sixth gear right now. And seventh gear. This is the last gear. Take the slipstream. On the inside. And on the brakes right here for this quick uh, double corner. Up in the fourth. Fifth. That's the slipstream. On the outside. We downshift a lot. This engine sounds incredible. Just simply incredible on the downshift. We got a little wide right there. We're on lap three out of five right now. We go, we go in the runoff. We go in the runoff and now in the grass. I, I uh, braked too late right there and I just went straight. You really have to moderate this brakes on this car because uh, it's a, it's kind of hard to drive. Of course, it was driven by the legendary Michael Schumacher, so he made me, he made it look easy. But his style was really just very unique and very fast because he basically carried the perfect amount of speed into the corner, so it slides just a little, so it helps him uh, turn the corner faster, but not slide too much to lose time. So he basically had the control side in every corner, and that was really, really hard to do for the 60 lap races or the 70 lap races which happen in a real F1 season. Up into 7th right now. And careful on the braking. We lock up a little but we managed to take the corner. Fine. Take the curve right there. Up to the 5th. Let's see if we can have some slipstream right here on the outside, on the inside, sorry. Ooh, the Ferrari nearly, uh, not the Ferrari, sorry, we nearly bashed into him. Great battle with him. Oh, it was a Ferrari, sorry. This is where I uh, locked up last, last lap. They should really bring back the V10s in Formula 1 and just use the synthetic fuels. Because they just sound incredible and... Ooh! No, I cannot believe this. We're... That was my fault, that was completely my fault. That was completely my fault, I turned the car around. No, no, what is happening? What is happening? Come on, turn the car around, let's go. I cannot believe that I took the grass and I just spun. I spun like a, um, I'm not gonna say like a what, but yeah, I spun. That was completely my fault and uh, I'm happy I don't have damage on this race. Because if I did have the damage on that would be over right there and then. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that. That is so unlucky. But we continue on. We can't dread on the past. We need to think about the future. Take the slipstream. On the inside. And get put on the bricks. Take the curves, they bounce a little. Up to the third, fourth, fifth gear right now, sixth. And a break for turn one. No, what? This car understeered so much. My car just simply understeered a ton right there. And I uh, lost some time. I'm not the best Formula 1 uh, driver as you can see, but I'm trying to improve race by race. So if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to uh, like it and subscribe because uh, I'm uh, uh, putting a lot of effort into my videos and editing a ton. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And hopefully this switch to English from Armenia uh, does grow the channel. On the outside right here, so with the inside, then break for the hairpin. Into first gear, a little snap over here right there. Uh, 
up into six. Seventh right now. Final lap. Finding another there with the car. And that was the end of the race. Seventh place overall, seventh from 13th. That's quite good actually. I really did enjoy that race and I hope you also liked it. It was quite fun but I had a lot of mistakes, two major mistakes with uh, one crash and one uh, going quite wide and losing time. But yeah, one crash wasn't my fault but one crash definitely was. But I did like that race and I hope you did as well. So let's go on to the outro. I really really hope you enjoyed this video because I really really like that race. This car simply screams with that V10. If you did, don't forget to press the red subscribe button below, leave a like and a comment because it helps me that I really appreciate it. And as always, have a great day everyone and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!